Hello and welcome to this week's Motors End News. I'm Paul Callum. You could try to play it, but you're never gonna be. SIMI have commissioned a report that was done by the economist Jim Parr, and the report is entitled Electrifying, Electrifying Ireland's Fleet the, A Huge Challenge. So we're all aware that we're supposed to try and have 1 million electric vehicles by 2030. And they've, the SIMI report has been trying to work out how that's going to be achieved and how you, they're making suggestions in the report as how that might be achieved. And one thing they've looked at is that there's 700,000 Euro 4 vehicles on the road in Ireland. Euro 4 being pre-2011. And that's 31.1% of the car park is Euro 4. So what they're doing in the report is they're focusing in on this range of vehicles. And they're saying that if we could take those vehicles off the road, we reduce our carbon output by 875,000 tonnes by removing those cars. Um, that's the equivalent to planting 1.1 billion trees. So some interesting figures in this report. Um, they're saying the average age of a car on the roads in Ireland is nine years. So you can see where they're going with this. They're suggesting that we need to get <laughs> these Euro 4 cars gone. Now, that's not good news for us in the aftermarket side of things, it's good. It's obviously good news for those people selling new cars, but then on an environmental level, it's good news. So we're kind of caught between all of this activity as to what direction things are gonna go in. At the moment, we have 1,900 chargers, and the report says that's 1,900 chargers over 800 sites. It says there needs to be 4,700 chargers. So you can see the work that needs to be done in that side of things. They're saying that there's three times as many used vehicles sold as there are new. So they're suggesting that we need to look at being able to provide used cars for these people to buy. But then you can't have a used car if you didn't sell it new in the first place. So you can see again where this is going. They're saying we need to sell more new electric vehicles in order to generate the used vehicle. Uh, so the, the push really on this is to say that the government has to come up with some type of incentive to get people to buy electric vehicles and some kind of incentive to get rid of those Euro 4 vehicles off the roads as well. If you are waiting on your new Volkswagen or VAG product and you're in America, the excuse you might get from your salesman is that we don't have your vehicle yet sir but it is we think it may be in the Atlantic on fire yeah you might have seen this story during the week where a ship that's going from Germany to Rhode Island in America it's got 3965 vehicles on it all from the Volkswagen Audi group uh, and it's on fire 22 crew have been safely taken off the ship. The ship is, is at sea on fire now. Some are in around the Azores, uh, uh, south, southwest of the Azores is where it's saying it is. And it's got 1,100 Porsches on it and it's got 189 Bentleys and the rest of it being made up of Audi and Volkswagen product. Uh, $335 million is what's on that ship. Uh, currently on fire is, is, is what we know now but yeah if you walk into your your Audi Volkswagen Bentley Porsche dealership now the excuse you're getting is that we know where your car is it's on fire in the Atlantic Euro car parts from March this year will require you to have your F gas certificate if you come to the counter and want to buy a cylinder of R134A. So this is interesting. I don't know why suddenly uh, Euro have decided to, dem to demand proof of your certificate if you want gas. And kind of the answer to that is, oh, I'll go somewhere else and I get it if you don't have your certificate. But 
To be fair, Euro have been the people that have been bringing the price of 134A down. Most people in Ireland have been buying 134A off them. So you need to be aware of that, that from the 20, from this, from this March on, they won't give you a, a cylinder of 134A if you don't have your certificate. You can register your certificate online, so you don't have to go through a whole rigmarole when you get to the counter. But if you don't have an F-Gas certificate, uh, you may have to go and get the course in order to get the certificate if you want to buy gas from Euro going forward. MP Barry Shearman. You might say, well, what's he got to do with anything? Well, he's made a statement in the House of Commons in England and the UK to say air pollution is one of the greatest public health crises of our time. And he said that no DPF if you have a vehicle with no DPF sitting in traffic, it's equal to three lanes of traffic, 360 miles long in a traffic jam. So it goes to show the amount of emissions that have been put out when the DPF is not working. But he's trying to bring forward legislation that will introduce testing for DPFs and MOT. The technology seems to be there that they can do this now. And he's highlighting the fact that the this is a massive air pollution issue and that it needs to be tackled. So it'll be interesting to watch if they adopt this policy, whether or not DPF emissions testing will be introduced on the NCT. Cartel have done a survey and that survey shows that the average price of a new car bought in Ireland is €35,199. And this is the fourth year that the average price has exceeded 30,000 euros. Uh, it's clear from this that the, buyer is, the buyers are spending more money than ever before and it shows that the, the reason being is they're favouring SUVs, crossovers and MPVs. But to my mind, the reason for this is more to do with the fact that the financial products are available to allow people to buy bigger, fancier vehicles than they, they, they used to before. And I think one of the key factors in that would be PCPs and the, this type of thing that people are going in with a certain budget and now they're discovering that oh no you can have this financial product which is going to allow you to buy a fancier bigger and fancier vehicle than you might previously have thought you were going to buy. UK Department of Transport have issued a report that shows that there was a 64% reduction in the number of crashes from 1979 and anybody that's got anything to do with body shops realize that the volume the volume of body shops have decreased enormously in the last number of years but can the reason that, that the volume of body shops has decreased is because the volume of work has decreased for every 100 crashes that took place in 1979 now we have 36. Um, but the interesting thing about the report is that in 2000 the rate was 95 percent so the number hadn't dropped a lot by 2000. So it's clear to see that traction control and stability control and all these driver aids that started to come on cars from the noughties on clearly have been a major contribu contributing factor in reducing the number of accidents. But 254,000 accidents took place in 1979 in the UK. 91,000 took place in 2021. So you can see that there's been a massive, massive reduction. And that's kind of the reason why body shops are becoming, uh, a lot of body shops are closing down and the number of body shops are dropping. Mercedes has just launched the EQ43, which again, we have to start to understand and learn what the brands, the new brands are. But the EQE is the electric range. It's got a pair of motors. It produces 469 brake horsepower. They have a higher spec model, which is the EQ53, which is 208 brake horsepower more. You've got a not to 62 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. And the rear wheel steer on this vehicle of 3.6 degrees. So seems to be a lot of new models been launched by Mercedes now, really in this performance um, electric segment, which is kind of directly aiming itself at Tesla because we know that's the area where Tesla has sold into. They've, they've, they've been saying, look, it's a performance vehicle. It just happens to be electric. So that seems to be the line that Mercedes are taking is they're saying, it's a performance vehicle. It just happens to be electric. 
that's Motor Zen news for this week, guys. If you could, please like, comment, and subscribe, because if you look at our subscriptions there, you can see we're up into the millions now. I uh, know well, it's not quite millions, but we're getting there, you know. <laughs>